Hello everyone. So today I'm going to share with you guys the Catalog program for today. Catalog program for today pretty much is very straightforward, nothing too tough. All right. Going to start off with Turkish get up, doubles, pair up with goblet squats. Goblet squats you already know by now it's more of a mobility component. For the get ups, why doubles? All right. So for doubles itself, reason being I find that you know when you're performing Turkish get up for doubles, um, you are able to. Uh, stabilize yourself better. Your body is able to find out the path of least resistance or the most economical position itself. Because many at times, you know, when we are just doing one rep itself, you can only, you know, you can cheat your way through, right? You know, sometimes, you know, you wobble a bit, it's fine. But if you're doing doubles, usually on the second rep, because of the time under tension, you have already done about 30 to 45 seconds of time under tension after the first rep, your muscles are going to be slightly fatigued. So that is the period of time whereby you know you really need to know how to stack your get-ups properly. If your get-up is not aligned, that is when you'll find that you're going to struggle through the second rep itself. So make sure that you perform the get-up with proper form, making sure that you find the stack all the time to get through this. All right, That's the whole point of this exercise. Generally speaking, you will need to use a lightened load for this. You cannot be using the same load as you use for one rep. So I would recommend you drop the bell by one size or if you are first time doing this, two sizes down. All right. Um, for part B itself, we are going to do single kettlebell complex. So if you can see from the way we structure the exercise progression, you must stick to this. All right. There is a reason why we do the uh, exercise selection in a certain format. So if you look at this, we are actually putting the swings first and then the snatches last. Why is this so? It's because you know we really want to have some form of pre-fatigue before actually doing the overhead press and also the snatches itself. Reason being, you know, we want to bulletproof these two movements itself. Of course, let's say you know you are you find that you are unable to. Um, perform a strict overhead press, feel free to get in a push press, all right? That is the whole idea behind this um, exercise um, order itself, all right? Um, after you're done, you, and you only complete your left hand, then you go to your right hand, all right? So this also helps to build the grip endurance as well. Um, for the rest-wise, it's going to be two minutes between each round. Of course, if you need to rest a while longer, feel free to do so. Okay, as usual, we are looking at keeping to snatch size bell, but if no, if you are uncomfortable, feel free to drop one bell down. All right. Uh, lastly, what we are doing is every minute on the minute for nine minutes, 10 swings with a moderate bell using two hands. Okay. So this itself teaches your hips how to generate power. On Tuesday, we are doing a lot of single arm swings. Yes, there's an element of power uh, and it's also more specific to snatch itself. Uh, but the one arm swing um, doesn't really develop power as much as a two arm swing because two arm swings um, is more stable, right? You're not asymmetrical, you're symmetrical. So we're going to incorporate this in as well. Use a moderate bell. You don't need to use a heavy bell. Probably what you can do is you can stick to the bell, uh, which you use for your one arm swings. I'm fine. Or if you want to go one bell lighter, I'm fine too. Make sure that you really explode. The key thing is being explosive with each rep. That's the most important thing. So pretty much that's about it um, for um, the kettlebell component, kettlebell program. If you have any questions, feel free to WhatsApp me.